welcome back to my channel. This message is going to be for Taurus. Let's just see what we get. Let's see. Okay, um, so it looks like there's a situation, um, it could be a friend, um, you know, you may be waiting to get a, um, a text from a friend, or it could be somebody that you've, um, been very faithful to. So this person could be in some sort of despair, um, very upset about something, maybe something um, traumatic has happened, and okay, I feel like this person um, is a bit of a frenemy. <sighs> Maybe not a friend of me, but it, it's a friend. It's someone close to you. But I feel like this person, um, for some reason, can't be trusted. Let's see. So this, this person is... I just feel like you shouldn't um, trust this person, but I feel like they, they want to speak with you. They want to talk to you. Um, they want to work things back out, get back together. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, I think, you know, I think you should should be very careful around this person. Who it, it could be a friend, family member, whoever um, this resonates with you about. Um, there's just some type of misfortune that's happened. Um, somebody could be in despair. Somebody could be trying to reunite with some someone. But I think you need to use your discernment around this person. careful for some reason. Yeah, this is somebody that you I just I don't think you should really trust this person around you. They could be suffering um, some type of mental suffering right now for some reason. Um, I just think you should be very careful around this person. Um, let's get some more and see what this is about. Let's see. So I feel like this is somebody that you've, you've been very faithful with. Um, just been a good friend. It could be a relationship, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife. It's somebody that You've just always been there for. Um, let's see. Okay. this person carries some type of negative energy, uh, some type of, um, uh, just like a dangerous spirit that they have on them. I, I don't want this to sound too crazy or scare anybody, but you know, when, when somebody that 
there's just something about them that you you know you can't trust or maybe something's happened to where now you're put in a position to where you know you you just might feel like I, I just don't even know if I can trust them to come around me anymore um, I think you just need to um, to have um, make good judgment when you're around this person for some reason um, it could be suffering uh, from something let's say let's get some more could be they could be in the military don't have to be could be um, um, this person may this is gonna sound so weird I don't want to freak anybody out or scare anybody but they may I just feel like this person could possibly be a danger to you. I don't know how or why right now, but I see the devil, the king of swords. I just would not trust this person around you anymore. It, it could be, I don't know. There's really just something about them that I feel like you need to protect yourself from. Mm, I'm just not getting a good vibe from whoever you're dealing with or whoever um, is trying to come back around you. This could be an old friend. It just, I just don't trust the energy that they're, they're putting off. Um, so, They definitely have a bad vibe to them, a negative, um, dangerous type of spirit I feel like is attached to this person. Um, I just really feel like you need to protect yourself from this person. Maybe you need to um, get to know a little more about them. Um, Yeah, definitely protect yourself. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe there's more to this person that you really don't know. Um, they could have other issues that maybe you knew a little bit about it, but maybe not, um, not to the full extent of what you need to know. They just, they just... Okay, so let's let's get some more. So Okay, I think you should um maybe they're suffering from some type of illness. It could be mental illness, it could be and uh, you know, there's nothing a mental illness is real. Um I'm not slandering that at all. Trust me. We, we all suffer from some type of mental illness at one point in time. But this could be a little bit deeper. Um, maybe you didn't know this about this person. Um, maybe you need to, I don't know, just kind of look in a little bit more to this person. Like really um, pay attention when you're around them. Or I don't know. I don't even know if I would want to go around them. And I'm, I'm really not trying to make this seem... Um, more than what it is, but I just, I'm really getting a negative vibe from this person. Um, I don't know. Let's, let me get a little bit more. Let's see. I think this person is, um, hasn't, I think this person 
person is not who you think or thought that they were. It, it's definitely a friendship. Um, maybe a lot of things are coming to light about this person. Maybe you're starting to see the falseness of this person. Um, mm, but I definitely feel like you need to pr uh, protect yourself. <sighs> I feel like you need to protect yourself from future accidents from happening when you're around this person. I think they need a lot of healing. Um, mm, I would just really distance yourself from whoever this is, especially right now. You know, maybe later on see how things go but for some reason I feel like this person could be a danger to themselves and also to you um, you know it's it's it seems like it's a very sensitive matter they could be suffering from some type of pain um, but they could also be bringing this pain to you that has nothing to do with you um, and I just really feel like it could be bringing a lot of stress and mental anguish to your life when none of this has anything to do with you but it's it's the friendship is causing a lot of chaos and drama and emotional damage to you when it has nothing to even do with you, but they're bringing this into your life because you care for this person emotionally. And so, of course, you're going to be upset if they're going through things, you know, and it's, it's not fair. Um, but I honestly, I don't trust this person. Um, all right, let's get, um, let's get a little bit more. Let me see. I think I want to use these. Okay. So let's see what is going on. I just really think um, this person is, is dangerous right now. It, it could just be to themselves, but I wouldn't risk putting, um, putting myself in this person's presence because of their mental state. At this time. Just really use your discernment when you're around this person. Um, whew, I'm shaking a little bit. Um, but okay. So let's get a little bit more. Yes, definitely. You've, you've got the nine of wands. I mean the nine of wands. Um, you just need to block this person right now. Protect yourself. Give it some time. I, I think this is a warning for you. It's somebody very close to you. It, it could be a best friend. It could be a boyfriend, girlfriend, like I say. Um, but I feel like this person really brings um, a lot of emotional um, turmoil into your life. I feel like they emotionally manipulate you to feel bad for them. You really need to use your discernment when you're around this person. I, I feel like they need to be blocked, at least for the time being, until... Um, I am shaking. I'm sorry. Um, but it's, it's really bothering me. Okay, so... Let's see. person seems to be I feel like they're fake I feel like they're they're gonna come and try to uh, emotionally manipulate you yeah they want to come talk I think they they want to come come back into your life hang out with you whatever but I really feel like... You know, they may start blowing up your phone again, trying to text, communicate, hang out. But I really feel like 
you really need to be careful. I would be careful about going anywhere, letting this person in my home. I just, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry if I'm scaring anyone. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be overly dramatic, but you know, I have to give you what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. Okay. Um, so I feel like this person wants to keep you emotionally trapped with them because they're going through some type of struggle and stress and they want you to stay with them through this. Yeah, they're very vindictive, very, uh, you know, they may seem like they're very sweet and that, you know, quiet, kind of um, good mannered person, but they could be very devious and very vindictive, very um, spiteful, revengeful. Um, you know, they could have been wearing a cloak all this time and you're just now kind of learning a little bit more about this person and they, you know, I just feel like they could be a threat to you and themselves for some reason. Okay, so... Yeah, this person could be, um, this person could just be doing things, um, I don't know, I think there's some things that you need to, to learn about, I'm getting, I'm just getting the same message, pay, really pay attention to this person, they could be suffering from some type of depression, which, you know, not trying to knock that, um, but you know what I'm saying, just be very careful because, you know, we all, our mind can play tricks on us. And we all know that when, when people are suffering through certain things, you know, we're all a danger to ourselves. I guess we can be at some point in time, but you understand what I'm saying. I, I, I don't feel like I have to really explain that. I think you get me. So, um, this person could be, um, kind of delusional though. Who knows? It's it's kind of it's just really weird. So Okay, I definitely think you should not let this person in your home. I think there's a lot that you don't know about this person. I think you should be very discerning. Um mm, This person could be it's like they, you know, you may feel like you can let your guard down, but I really feel like you shouldn't at this time. I wouldn't let this person in my home or, you know, anything like that for a little while. You just really need to hold back, um, you know, be sensitive about the situation, but just distance yourself um, mm, until some things get worked out is, is what I'm feeling. Um, and I'm sorry if I've scared anyone, I'm not trying to, but I think if, if the Taurus is out there or can relate to this situation, I think you understand what I'm talking about. Um, I think some conflict has just suddenly happened and, um, I think you get it. You know, if this message resonates for you, I think you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about. So, um, that is what I have for you, Taurus. Just, just be cautious, um, for the time being around this person. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.